crowd on hand here once again at the Aquatic Center on the campus of University of Michigan. The men's 400-meter freestyle. Paul Biederman, the world record holder, 340.07. Larson Jensen holds the American record. And the local favorite, Peter Vanderkay, will swim 400, the 400-meter freestyle and the 1,500 meters at the World Championships coming up in August. You can follow our coverage on Universal Sports and NBC. Coming to you from Shanghai, China. Two Olympic gold medals in the 800-meter freestyle relay. And a hometown favorite, Lane One, also out of the University of Michigan. Another Wolverine, Sean Ryan. Vander Kay will be in lane two. All four of his brothers swam here at the University of Michigan for Bob Bowman. Arthur Frailer will be in lane three. Qualified in 350, or fastest time, lifetime, 356.40. In lane four, Michael Flea. Start in the middle of the pool, fastest qualifier. Qualified in 356.06. There is Klee. And next to him, out of the fast swim team, originally from Riverside, California, coached by John Urbanchik, Tyler Clary will be in lane five. There's Andy Gemmel. 20-year-old, all-time best 353.05. Matt Patton next to him from Club Wolverine. You can guess also that he's a local favorite. This is kind of a John Urbanchek specialty event. The 400-meter freestyle, Charlie Houchin, also out of fast, originally from Raleigh, North Carolina, and coached by Urbanchek. John Urbanchek, legendary coach here at the University of Michigan. 1995 national championships, 13 Big Ten titles. NCAA Coach of the Year. Men's final, 400 meters, eight lengths of the pool, to the blocks. Kind of funny seeing Peter Vanderkay with that gator cap on. Now he's down in Gainesville, swimming for Greg Troy. Second fastest American in history. He was a former American record holder. As you mentioned, Larson Jensen broke that. He's actually broke it twice. Vander Kay still an amazing swimmer, amazing representative for the United States and for USA Swimming. Be facing Usmaluli from Tunisia in the 1500 meters this summer in Shanghai. Maluli also here to compete. Funny story about uh, Vander Kay, old longtime coach Bob Bowman. Here at the University of Michigan, named a horse after Vander Kay and actually won some money for Bob at a couple of races. And Bob was later asked why he didn't name a horse after Michael Phelps, considering if going fast and finishing first was a priority. And Bob said, well, as soon as a horse bites me, I'll name him Michael Phelps. <laughs> <laughs> or bites back, I should say. I'm sure that's a pretty mutual situation. <laughs> Vander Kay off to a bit of a slow start right now. Klee up there in lane number four right there with that dark cap. Tyler Clary right above him. Clary, a, a member of the world championship team. There's Peter Vander Kay off to a bit of a sluggish start. You know, he's had a, a big transition down in Gainesville. And Coach Greg Troy said, you know, he's he just not used to training quite as hard as they do down there. Not that he doesn't train hard with Don, or has trained as hard as with Don or Banchek. It's just a different type of training. Vander and Mike Bottom. Vander Kay finished fourth at the Olympic Games in Beijing. Typhoon Park from Korea won the gold medal. That was in this event, the 400 free. How about the depth in this event for the United States going into the it, it's actually a fairly weak event for the United States at this point. That's why I asked, and, yeah. and it's wide open. You know, you take a lot of events on the program, Paul, the 200 IM. I mean, it, it's, it's almost impossible to break the, the stranglehold that Phelps and Lochte and Clary, some of those guys have on that. It's really hard. But an event like this, a 400 freestyle, really is wide open. I mean, 
there was no there were no Americans ranked in the top 10 in the world last year in this event except for one and that's Peter Vanderke he was ninth in this event Michael Klee turning first as the swimmers come for home in a dead heat right in the middle of the pool right now lane four lane five Klee and Tyler Clary and also in the top of the pool up in lane eight Charlie Houchin from fast swim team right there very much in the mix as well and down in lane two Peter Vanderke wasn't so much in the mix at that last turn but really coming on with about a little over a length and a half to go and, and they all have either John or Banchak or Michigan ties one way or another they're all related somehow or another with their programs and all four of them really have a chance it depends who really goes to their legs right now you really need to go to your legs i like the way tyler clary's looking right there with that white cap looking pretty good now peter vander down the below has great closing speed but he's out of it there's no way he's going to be able to catch clary i think clary's got it tyler clary pulling away big turn came up fast out of the water laid down the kick and he's pulling away right now from Michael Klee to his left in lane four. And that's going to be the finish. Clary, Klee, and Vanderke. Or check at the top of the pool. Boy, that was a that was a, a, a wonderful swim for Tyler Clary. He is not known for a great freestyler. There's Coach John Urbanchek, proud of all his protégés. They've all swam for John one way or another. Tyler Clary swims for him presently. And it was Charlie Houchin. We've got to point that out from Fast Swim Team. Up in lane eight. Kept ignoring him because he was the slowest qualifier in this final. But right there through 200 meters, 300 meters, and got in behind Clary and Klee for third place. Well, the top three all swim presently for John Urbanchek. Off the blocks, you see Clary with that white cap. Getting into the water first, good reaction time. But once again, he's not known to be a great freestyler. In fact, in his IMs in the past, that's where he's lost the races to guys like Phelps and Lochte. He has improved dramatically on his freestyle right there and beat these freestylers. He's not a freestyler. He's a butterflyer. He's a great backstroker. But he's not a great freestyler. And what a what a great swim for Tyler Clare. There's a good finish for him. He finished strong, strong throughout the race. I, I was very impressed with that swim. The time not so fast, but for, for the swim itself, really good for Tyler Clare. So Clary wins it once again. Michael Klee finishes in second. And Charlie Houchin, a personal best for Tyler Clary. And Tyler with us down on the deck. First of all, congratulations. <laughs> I'll draw out my question and give you a chance to catch your breath. Thank you. Talk about the last 50. Rowdy mentioned when you came up out of the turn, you really laid your kick down. Was that something you were saving or part of the plan all along? That was really part of the plan all along. I've been uh, noticing that my kick's been getting a lot better over the course of the season, so I knew that I would have that at the end. And, and, and Tyler, I was saying that you're really not known for a great freestyle, and all of a sudden this freestyle has really improved for you. What's been the difference? Uh, just more attention to detail. Um, I've really been more of a focus on the uh, butterfly and backstroke up until recently, but with uh, Michael Klee added to our training group, it's really been a valuable uh, training training asset that I have just having him around. I was going to ask you about that. What's that like on a day-to-day -day basis out there swimming with all these great freestylers? Uh, I mean, it's probably some of the best freestyle training I've ever had in my life and I'm really honored to be a part of that. Well that's a that's a spectacular swim right there. Nice job. Buddy. Thanks a lot Rowdy. Our winner in the men's 400 meter freestyle a Michael Klee followed up the leader and the winner Tyler Clary. Strong swim over 400 meters back to Ann Arbor right after this.